Good to connect. I just finished working out, so excuse me for looking. Oh no, you're fine. You're fine. Um, I got the I got the shirt on. Yes, sir, my man. I'd love to see you, brother. Thanks so much. Oh, you're welcome. And I got the autograph right here that you got. Oh, no, my man. Uh, how's everything going with you? Uh, it's been going good, thanks. Mm -hmm. I'm doing all right. And I just like to say, um, we were able to. We have for the toy drive. We have, I think, seven or eight posts of this. Really? Um, we're just waiting on the hospital because, uh, um, just because of COVID, we can't give them right now. And right. We could give them somewhere else, but I really want to give them to my hospital. So I'm just going right. to do Congrats, brother. That's awesome to see, man. That's the best feeling ever, right? It is. It is. Thank you. Yeah, you, you said your story will inspire millions someday. I really hope you're right. And it's looks it's trending in that direction. Man. I hope so. I hope so. We'll just keep pushing. Thank you. So I got some questions for you if you're ready. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. All right. Awesome. Um, what is your weight loss journey about and how have you helped inspire others with it? Sure. So this was probably, I want to say about five years ago. Yeah. Um, I've been struggling with weight forever, right? So I, I was yeah. over 300 pounds, uh, pre-diabetic, high liver enzymes, and just everything was tough, right? And I, I come from a family who's in the medical world. So it was tough even coming from that world where it's like, okay, people are in the medical field and I'm still really overweight and I could never get off the pity potty. And a lot of what people don't realize within weight loss, specifically when you're overweight, is a lot of people think that it's a lot of it is just mental and physical that you can just do. You can lose the weight if you just commit to it. The problem is it's not always the case like that, right? It's not always the case because people can suffer with food addictions. People can suffer with different types of lack of support. And the number one thing with weight loss is really having support, whether it's yourself or whether it's a support network around you. That's the toughest part because you don't see those changes every day, right? It takes time to see those changes. So for me, I got off my pity potty about five years ago and started documenting the journey. I started using YouTube and just keeping myself accountable. So I made a YouTube, started documenting it and got some, you know, mixed reviews, right? Some people were negative, some people weren't, but the point is the channel did really well. I lost a hundred pounds and I launched the shirt that you're wearing right there. Commit with Mir. You got to show them the t-shirt. Yeah, I'll show them right here. Commit with Mir. <laughs> yes, sir. So you were an OG Commit with Mir supporter. So awesome. launched that after the weight loss journey, probably had around 600 t-shirts go around to, to people just who were supporting me from day one. Um, long story short, I ended up pausing Commit with Mir because I ended up gaining, uh, can you still hear me? Yeah, sorry, I cut off for a sec, but yeah, no, I can hear you fine now. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. okay. Am I cutting off? No, you're good now. Okay, okay, yeah, so long story short, I, okay, I ended up pausing on Commit With Mir. So I ended up pausing on Commit With Mir because okay. I ended up gaining some weight back during the pandemic. Sure. Uh, during the pandemic, I gained around 40 pounds. Okay. And it was tough. It was tough going through that and gaining that weight. And so... Ultimately, I launched a podcast as a result, pause and commit with Mir, and just now focusing on myself so I can lose the weight again. Long story short, I have another 100 pounds to lose, but when it's said and done, I will be to have a 200 pound weight loss journey total. Wow. Yeah, no, that, that's pretty impressive. And now, uh, what did you study when you went to Loyola? Yeah, so Loyola, I studied business management and entrepreneurship. Okay. Okay. And then uh, here's a question that I got that... Uh, I kind of stumbled upon you on accident. I'm not going to lie. At first, I thought you were a basketball player. Because <laughs> my question is, how did you become such good friends with everyone on the basketball team? Yeah, for sure. So my freshman year at Loyola, I became a manager for the men's basketball team. Oh, okay. And yeah, I was a big fan of basketball. Always loved basketball. Always loved playing it. But it was hard to play it because I was really overweight. And that was very tough for me, being overweight. And yeah. I wanted to play basketball. So ultimately, I ended up becoming a manager. Uh, those guys became some of my best friends and I, I worked my way up from regular manager to head manager. So I became the head exactly. manager, the final four year, which is I'm sure when you stumbled upon me right during the final four run. Mm -hmm. So you got to see the whole run that I posted all over social media. So I was the head manager that year. So I got to travel to everywhere we went for the tournament. We went to Dallas, there was Atlanta, there was San Antonio for the final four. Mm -hmm. uh, and those guys are my brothers. You know, those are people that I still talk to every single day. Wow, that, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I, I originally thought you were a player, and then he said you weren't. I did some research. I was like, oh, this is still awesome. He's, you know, even better what you're doing now. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And that's why, you know, I tell people all the time, if you love the sport of basketball or you love football, whatever it is, and you're not necessarily on the team, you can always do uh, – And how old are you now, Liam? 18. 18. Are you in college now? Um, no, I'm a senior. Senior? Okay. I always tell people, you know, if you can't play – the D1 sport, there's always the manager route, there's always assistant route. And people look at it sometimes like, oh, no, I don't want to be a manager. But 
it can be so fulfilling because you can move up and look what happened with me. I was able to go to the final four, right? Mm -hmm. So there's, there's different ways around it. There's different ways. Okay. And then why did you start the More We Know podcast and what's the purpose for it? Yeah. So I started the More We Know podcast right around the time that I paused Commit With Mirror. So when I paused Commit With Mirror in my weight loss journey, because it just, it was tough. It got really tough for me, Liam. I'll be honest. Uh, mm -hmm. Mentally, it was tough dealing with, you know, negativity. And it was challenging for myself because I couldn't have results and I'm still struggling with it now, but I'm trying to stay motivated. So during the pandemic, I had a lot of college kids reach out to me and people your age too, high school, 18, 19, that were struggling. And we were all struggling during this time in the pandemic because there was so much depression, so much uncertainty. People were losing jobs. Um, we didn't know what was going to happen next. Uh, you know, you were taking your classes online on what we're doing now on Zoom. Mm -hmm. But it was a different world, my friend. It was a different world. So what I did is I launched a podcast saying, hey, I was blessed to have mentors in my life. A lot of people don't have mentors. They don't have that type of support. So why not launch a podcast where I can bring you in an hour or less, you can grab your phone, right? You can grab your phone mm -hmm. and listen to the podcast within an hour and get a mentor in your pocket. So you can get someone who's an expert, whether it's the mayor of Miami, whether it's a professional basketball player, whoever it is, I want you to be able to put those headphones in, whether you're in the gym, on the way to work, just sitting in your house, whatever it is, and get an actual mentor in your pocket to provide you that mentorship, because that's what it's about. The more we know, the more we learn, that's how we proceed. And that's why I'm so passionate about it. Yeah, no, you got, you got a lot of great guests on there before. I, I like, I like listening to it. Thanks brother. And then uh, rate your basketball skills one through 10. <laughs> I got a great jump shot. So I'll give, I'll give my jump shot like a, like an eight or nine, especially if I'm on fire, mm -hmm. I can go up there. You know, I'll, you can ask uh, DM Marcus Towns from uh, Loyola, the, sure. the basketball player, he's in Spain. He knows I got a jump shot. I was killing them on the three-point line. So three-point yeah. shooting, I got a jump shot. I won't lie to you. Um, uh, in terms of overall basketball skills, I'm not in the shape for it now. So I have to give myself, honestly, a three. I have to give myself a three. But in terms of shooting, I'm up, I'm up there. I'm almost a 10. Okay, awesome. Do you, How about uh, you? Oh, <laughs> I'm a solid five. Solid five? Five, yeah. Okay. I, 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 got a, I got really good vision. I'm like Steve Nash with the behind-the-back passes. And everything. Hey, I see you. <laughs> <laughs> and then you touched on this a little bit, but uh, explain the commit with me your message. Yeah. So the commit with mirror message sort of relates to the more we know podcast message. My messaging is still very similar. So commit with me is still part of it, but commit with me was about commitment. A lot of us struggle with commitment. It was about saying, Hey, here's an honest person that's struggling with his weight. That's struggling with his journey. That's mm -hmm. here to tell you that you can commit to your goals and we can commit together. So come commit with me when you're using this hashtag, whatever your goal is, whether you want to lose weight, whether you want to cut junk food out, whether you want to go become a better basketball player, whether you want to go be a better public speaker, whatever it is you want to do, come commit with Mir and we're on a no judgment zone together. All we got to do is commit and we'll get there. And it's a loving, positive message of just committing to our goals together. Yeah, no, that's awesome. And uh, it's, there's not really a lot of, um, a lot of spaces like that. So it's good, really good that you're running with it. And now what are you doing career-wise um, after college? For sure. So, yeah, so I, I'm doing the podcast full-time. Uh, now I'm part of a company where I work in the hedge fund technology solutions. Okay. So I work with investment managers uh, to consult them on their technology. So what they're using currently and how we're able to help them. So I do the business development side for that. We are a startup. Um, we are a big, pretty big startup. I do that. And I also coach Gen Zs and college kids to understand college, how to get your ROI in college, and to understand the stock market. Okay, awesome. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, that was all I had. But uh, before I let you go, I got to ask, uh, who's your top five in the NBA right now and who's winning the chip? <sighs> top five, I got to put LeBron up there. LeBron is okay. the GOAT. You got to have LeBron there. Um, you know, when, when, when KD is fully optimal, KD is up there. So KD's yeah. got to be up there because he's – he just, I've never seen someone who has the same skill as KD, uh, just what yeah. he's able to do, especially when he's fully healthy. Um, what KD does on the court is, is unreal. Um, I got to put Dame Dalla up there. Damian Miller is such a dog. What, what he, man, he's, he's just, he's elite. He's elite. Steph Curry, I got to put Steph up there. Um, and then fifth, it's so tough, man, because there's so many great hoopers out there. There's so many great hoopers. Mm -hmm. um, but I guess it's so tough, man, that you just five. Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard, okay. Yeah, I kind of forgot about Kawhi a little bit. Yeah. But, you know, no, he's still definitely there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So th th those are the five. Uh, and in terms of ship, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of teams looking good, even on the east side. You know, uh, Milwaukee's looking okay. And But I think I think, I think think L.A. can take it. You LA. think L.A. can take it again? Yeah. Who do, who do you got? 
Um, I'm done betting on my bucks to win it. But yeah. I've passed that. I just, you know, to be honest, I'm just hoping anyone but LeBron again. Yeah, I know. I, I hear you. What do you think? <laughs> Lakers got a good shot, don't you think? They do. They do. They got a really good shot. They somehow upgraded their team a little bit. Yeah. They won in the yeah. championship, which is very hard to do. It's very tough. And uh, the Warriors had an unfortunate story with the injuries that they had. Mm -hmm. That was unfortunate because I, I thought the Warriors were going to have a huge shot at taking it. But with the injuries and what happened with Clay Thompson, it's tough. Yeah, back to back years. That's that's really tough. Now I'm excited to see how D Rose D Rose in New York now. I'm a huge D Rose fan. I'm always wearing Chicago. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I probably got traded back to the Knicks. I was like, why did the Knicks want him again? Like you already I know, like, right? <laughs> what, what what more did he do in Detroit that you want him back? I know, right? What else do you want? So who's the number one player in the league right now? Like minus LeBron. Uh minus LeBron, that's gotta be. Um, God, and honestly, and honestly, it might be Damian Lillard right now. Yeah, that's why I got him. With everything he can do and his leadership, it's, it's got to be Damian Lillard. Damian, it's just such a that, that's what I like to model my work up, ethic after, man. He is amazing. He is, yeah. And he still wants to stay in Portland, which kudos to him. That's absolutely how many would do that. <laughs> absolutely, I know, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you uh, so much for being with me today. Thanks for talking. Liam, it is a pleasure, man. I'm so glad I was able to do this. Uh, I hope people that are watching this go support Liam and what he's doing, man. You're an inspiration to me, brother. And even on my weight loss journey, when I feel like giving up, uh, I look to people like you who motivate me just as much with your story. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. That means a lot. <laughs> All right, well, I'll be, we'll be talking. I'll be, I'll be staying in touch with you very soon. Absolutely, my brother. Thanks All so right. much. No problem. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Take care. Uh, all right, Liam, I appreciate it, my friend. Um, if you want, if you want just to promote your... Uh, your YouTube. Oh, sure. If you want to like, once you end this, yeah. what I like to do with my podcast sometimes is just take a clip from the, like from the zoom and record it on your Instagram story and tag me. I'll repost it to all my followers. Oh, okay. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I'll, I'll do that right now. So once, once you end the call though, like go back to a scene, maybe, maybe when I start talking oh. about with mirror, when you're showing yeah. your shirt, record yeah. it for 10, 20 seconds, tag me in both stories. I'll repost it right now. I'm going to get on, I'm getting on a call in 25 minutes. So if you want to do it now, I'll be able to check my DMS. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, I'll do it now. Thank you. Right, no, just tag me. All right. Thanks, brother. Thanks Thank so you. much. All Bye. right. Take care. Uh, yeah.